Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Saturday. It's about 90 degrees, sunny. Uh, it won't get much warmer today, but a uh, good breeze coming through, so that definitely helps. Bob just heard me talking and he's headed this way. <laughs> uh, it's my birthday! On this date in 1970, uh, yep, that was me. Alright, that's all I got for now. Um, let's look at what I did last night and take a look at the chickens and then, yeah, we'll see what the day brings. I got no special plans. I'm not a big birthday celebrator and I'm just, yeah, I got no big plans. Um, Alright, enough of that. Last night I put more shelves up in that corner. Let's go take a look. There's Grumpy. Hi Grumpy. And as you'll notice, I put a second deck up there. So that, uh, that shelf right there, I had put up a few days ago. That shelf, the bottom one, you saw me build yesterday. And then last night, I didn't film it because I just didn't feel like filming it. And I put a second deck, a second shelf up there. Those support pieces, I believe those came from the stairs that uh, Ridgeview Homestead and Hickory Ridge Homestead, John, Stephanie, and Stephen, when they came down, they, uh, they brought everything and built me my back steps there. And I think those were, you know, like the leftover pieces they had to cut off. And so I just used those and more of my leftover boards. Let me sit down in my chair and show you what my view is from down here. <laughs> um... So yeah, that, I don't think that looks too bad. I can put that printer on that top shelf. Uh, it's pretty thin and I can still reach it up there. And then under that I can put the, the printer paper and then off to the left and the right there's enough space for my speakers. And yeah, I'll start moving stuff in there once in a, once in a blue moon. Um, let's see. Oh, those, uh, those leftover boards on the top, those are all 15 inches and studs are 16 inches so I was trying to figure out where I could use all these leftover 15 inch boards um, and so I just came up with that I was I was thinking about putting another uh, another shelf up there anyway so all I did was I just attached it to the bottom shelf and there are just four screws going from uh, from the bottom up to the top but those two pieces came off of the stairs just leftover pieces that were lying around outside and then the top ones those were remnants uh, 15 inches and then you can see between the that, those are where the studs are and so the 15 inches well you need 16 inches from where the screws go so you actually need it a little bit you need it more like 17 inches because the the screws go in the middle of those shelf brackets so Yep, that's what I did last night. Okay, eight of number two's eggs and two blue eggs. So no more eggs in here. And now I'm going to mark these so that in case number two lays another egg, I will know. Good morning, Mrs. B. Good to see you sitting on the nest. Yeah, and I just checked her eggs. She's got all eight brown ones and two blue ones and no extras. And she pecked me three times while I was checking. So, yep. All right, have a good day, Mrs. B. And now this afternoon, I'm gonna put up the other shelf that I built yesterday. And you can see my Berkey water filter there. That's what the shelf is for. So it's gonna go in between the refrigerator here and uh, the, you know the counter and cabinet. So it's going to go right in there. Um, I have to. I, I want to hit the studs, especially for something holding um, a couple gallons of water. That's almost 20 pounds, probably. So yeah, that's where I'm going to put my Berkey water filter, and I want to leave it high enough uh, that I can. Uh, that's my water heater, and back there is also the main water uh, on and off valve for the entire house. So I can't put anything there that's you know going to be hard to get to get back there in case I need to shut off the water in a hurry. 
So what I'll probably do is I'll keep my trash can here. Um, then I'll have uh, the Berkey filter. Well, and you'll see it here in a few minutes, I hope. And then I might keep my broom and mop or whatever in this little, this little, uh, I don't know, area behind the refrigerator. Because you can't really see it. And then, like I said, I want to keep the bottom area pretty much cleared for uh, to be able to get back there to the water. And I haven't gotten a trash can yet because, uh, well, I only get, I'm not like most people, I only get five bags of trash per week. So the size of the bag makes a big difference. If I just get those little, you know, like 18 gallon bags, well, you know, if I, I have to put two of those into one bigger one, and then that just ends up costing me a lot of money in garbage bags. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do uh, for a garbage can there, but I'll figure something out eventually. I, I just leave it lying on the ground now. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll show you that when it's done. Oh, I'd film it, but uh, without being able to get a side angle, all you're going to see is my back anyway. There we go, one shelf for a Berkey water filter. And I just put the boxes up there. One of those will be my coffee uh, French press. The other one will be for tea. And uh, now I can start using that little hot pot for my coffee. And so that will be my coffee station there in the corner. And I'll have my, uh, my fresh Berkey filtered water right there. And yep. Alright, looks like I'm going to unwrap some... Uh, French presses and a water heater thing tonight. Get that ready to go for the morning. I'll take it. That is going to be all for this Saturday. I took it a little bit easy today. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but I was anxious to get my new coffee corner going. So yeah, now I got now I got my coffee corner almost ready to go. Um, okay. Uh, thanks again for the Berkey water filter the water heater, what, are, what do you call those, an electric kettle, or the electric kettle, the French presses, and yes I have two of them, but I could use like one for water, one for tea, um, I don't know, it's been years since I've used a French press, so I've been looking forward to that with, uh, with my coffee grounds, so the coffee grinder was a gift from a dude I went to college with, and they're all, it's just all wonderful, and this is my birthday. And so you guys made my birthday great without even knowing about it. Even these shelves, oh, you can't see them right now. Yeah, John and Stephanie and Steven, they had no idea that those little pieces of the leftover board would come in useful. I didn't either. So you, you just never know. You just never know. So I am very thankful on my birthday. Uh, yep, I, as my, my uh, bulldozer man said, what, you turn 19 today? I'm like, yep, for the 30th time. So, all right, take her easy, everybody, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Holy cow, number two. <laughs> that was quite a number two. Oh, that's what broody hens do. This probably isn't going to make the video, though. All right, she's out here getting a scratch, and I'm going to go check her eggs.